all right good morning guys let's hope everyone is well and in good care all right just to revisit the topic i think this was our last topic for last term i think we did uh price elasticity of demand right but uh, some of you guys were not there and i didn't manage to finish this topic all right so on the price elasticity of demand Price elasticity of demand is how and to what extent the quantity demanded will be influenced by change in price. Okay. So, um, as I was saying, we are trying to, to, to examine or to look at the impact of what of changing the, what, the uh, price. Okay. So, the effect of changing price to demand is what we mean by price elasticity of, of what of demand. Okay. So, normally... On the normal goods, I think you you we spoke about the difference between the inferior goods and normal goods. If we decrease, okay, so on this one, we are trying to say if we drop off the price, which means the demand will go up, because the goods will be cheaper. Then if we increase the price, the demand will uh, drop. So which means on this one we have what you call a negative one. A relationship okay that is on normal goods so elasticity is calculated in terms of what percentage change in price and quantity so price elasticity of demand or PED is equals to change in quantity demanded over change percentage change in what in price okay so in other words we can actually uh, summarize it as what PED um, is equals to change in what quantity demanded over change in what in price. So that's what we have there. Okay. All right. Then we go to the example. Assume the price P of a product increases from 200 to what 240, and the quantity demanded decreased from what um, 400 to 300 units. So, like what I said, you uh, you wrote. I think we wrote seven steps of what of calculating the the, the price elasticity of what of demand. So price change there is equals to change in price of um, original price multiplied by hundred. So we are going to say two hundred forty minus two hundred. So the price changed from two hundred two hundred forty. Okay, so 240 minus 200 divided by original price. price. Original price, we are talking about the first price or the price that was there before. Then we multiply by 100. We are going to get what? 20%. Okay. Then we go to step number two. Quantity uh, change is equals to change in quantity over original what? Quantity. So change, it means you are going to say uh, the quantity now minus the quantity that was demanded before. That is what you mean by change. Then divided by the original what? quantity. Okay. So the original quantity, which means is the first quantity that was demanded. Okay. Multiply by 100. So in this case, change in quantity, we are going to say the quantity was 400. Then it went to 300. So we're going to say 400 minus 300. You see that? Then divided by the original quantity, which is the first quantity. Original means the first. Final means the last. Okay. So in this case, we want to use the what? The original quantity. Okay. Then we multiply by 100. Then we are going to get what? 25%. So important now, or NB, quantity decreased must change 25% to what? To minus 25%. Okay. Then we go to step number three. Step number three, we have price elasticity of demand, which is PED, is equals to percentage change in quantity over percentage change in price, which is equal to minus 25% divided by 20% is equal to what? Minus 1.25 or only 1.25. Okay. Right. So the negative 
sign is ignored because of the inverse relation, the relationship between price and the quantity demanded. Okay. Then um, a law of demand. The answer is a coefficient. It has no identity of its own, e.g. rent or kilogram. Okay. Or percentage. Right. Right. So that's what you have there. So price elasticity of demand is normally negative because price and demand has an inverse relationship. Okay. Law of word of demand. Then you move on. On the next page, we have degrees of what of price elasticity of demand or types of price elasticity of demand. I think we wrote all the types of what of, of uh, price elasticity of demand in the notes. So the demand for most goods and services is either elastic or inelastic. Elastic, we are trying to say if we if we just change the price. Whether we decrease the price or increase the price, there's a huge difference on the on the quantity demanded. But in elastic, it is vice versa, it is negative. Whether you change the price, whether you decrease the price, or whether you increase the price, you don't see the big difference. That is what is there. So the table below illustrates the difference, the different degrees and influence of each word. Price elasticity of, of word of demand. Okay. So now we are going to the graph now. We have price there and quantity there. So value of PED or value of price elasticity of demand. I think you can actually see here on the on the on the graph. This is the quantity, this is the price. So if we increase, I think on this arrow you can actually see that the price was here. Then it increased to this point. Okay. So which means the result was a decrease in the, uh, the quantity that was uh, that was demanded at this level of price was this one. Then now at this level now, the quantity that was being um, demanded was this one. So if we increase the price by this margin, if we increase the price by this margin, it will cause a decrease in what? In quantity demanded by of, of this margin. Okay, so that's what you have there. So classification there, we have el elastic word demand. This one is elastic word demand. So percentage change on explanation, percentage change in price is less than percentage change in what? In quantity demanded. Okay, so, um, so that's what you have there. Then we go to the next one, which is uh, between 0 and 1. Okay. So this one is between 1 and infinity. Okay. Then uh, this one is elastic word demand. But in elastic now, it is between 0 and 1, which means there is a fraction. If you just change price by a big margin of this, the change in quantity demanded is going to be a fraction. You see that. So that's why we have this small area. Okay. So this one, it will be called what? Inelastic what? Inelastic demand. Okay. So in other words, percentage change in price is greater than percentage change in what? In uh, quantity demanded. Okay. Right. Then we go to the next one, which is a uh, unit price elastic. Okay. So on unit price elastic, we are trying to say the percentage change in price is equal to the percentage change in what? In quantity demanded. If we change the price by 1%, which means the quantity demanded is going to be 1% also. You see that? Right, so that's what we have there. So in other words, percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to percentage change in what? In price. That's what we have there. Okay. Right, so now let's move on. So that's what we call unitary or unit price elasticity. The next one, we have um, perfectly inelastic. So change in price will result to zero change in what in quantity demanded. You see that? 
So in other words, we have a demand curve that is parallel to the y-axis to the y -axis here. So which is vertical. You can't calculate the gradient of, of a line that is parallel to the, to the y-axis. You see that? So in other words, quantity demanded, uh, change in quantity demanded was zero. So on this one, it is, um, it is uh, evident when, um, for example, if we are selling basic, basic goods or basics, you see that. Like for example, salt. Let me just give my own example of what of salt. Whether you know what, it doesn't matter whether you decrease the price by what margin. People they are not, they they are not, uh, they don't care to buy uh, a huge quantity of what of that salt. You see that, right? Okay. Then we move on. We go to this last one, which is parallel to the y axis now, or to the x axis. Sorry. So this one is perfectly elastic. Okay. So we are saying percentage change in price will lead to an infinity change in what? In quantity demanded. So that's what we have there. If we just change the price by small margin, the quantity demand is going to be very huge, very big. So that's what we have there on a perfectly uh, elastic. Okay. Right, so 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 that's that's what we have there. So perfect perfectly um the price elasticity of supply, the, the the effect is the same. The effect is, is the same. So price elasticity of supply indicates how sensitive supply of a product is for uh on a change in, in price. So normally if the prices go up, supply will go up. This is the difference now with demand. When the prices drop down, the supply will go down. But look now the difference with what? With demand. When the price go up, demand will go down. Because this one is all about uh, customers and this one is suppliers. Right? When the price goes down, the, the demand goes up. So this one has got a positive what? Relationship. But this one has got a negative relationship. So suppliers, they are very happy if prices go up. They know that they are going to make profit. You see, that's all they will supply more. But if the price goes down, then suppliers are not happy. Because they know that the price is not favorable for us to, have to supply the goods. Okay. So that's what we have there. Right. So no wonder why we say there is a positive water relationship there. So price elasticity of supply measures how responsive supply sellers or producers are for change in what in price. So the formula is percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in what in price. Okay. So we are going to calculate same formulas that we are going to, that we used on what on um, on uh, on uh, demand. We are going to use the same. On what on supply okay so this is what we have so next time i'm going to start on what on uh, price elasticity of out of supply okay so thank you